Hello. <laughs> it's me you're looking for. Is no. that right? Well, I mean, I found these straws, so it felt like, wow, your hat is epic. P.S. and by the way. God, could you imagine the Q-tips you'd have to use on these ears? Well, they would need to be like, forget a cotton swab. Seriously. It would need to be like, uh, like a, a rolling pin. Truly. With like, some cotton on the end. Mini and Mickey hey, give me this. got nothing. They got I can, Tara. I can get that. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome on into another edition of This Crazy Kitchen. Yeah, it's our Memorial Day edition. I'm Tara Tesher. I'm Lisa Lassart. I'm sorry. I gotta log in. I gotta work. I'm yeah, right yeah, log in. I gotta work. She should have done this ahead of time. I already oh, told I her that. I can't do it. Hey, Jackie. Hey, oh. Janet. Hey, Dolores. Uh, hey, Jeremy. Jeremy said, hey, ladies. Colleen saying good afternoon. Sarah, my ching's here. We just want to make you guys smile today. Yes, That we do. is our only goal. We have been laughing. Have tissue. I, I, you know, it's funny. Do you? I think I do. No problem. <laughs> Please. I felt like I'm with my mom. Well, it's like... I mean, I love her, but... Be right back. <laughs> BRB. Gosh, finally, it's just you and me. Just you and me. All right. I never thought she'd leave. I never thought she was going to leave. Um, hey, Dana. Hi, Sally. Oh, this is so fun. Thank you, guys. We thought it would be really cute to come up with three great recipes um, in honor of Memorial Day. Um, just kind of something that was easy, something that you could throw together if you were going to be getting together with family or friends. And uh, Lisa came up with this ridiculous name game. So if you already, I need to put the straws down. Okay. Thank you. Especially because we're going to drink out of them. I mean, Lisa and I are good friends, but I don't think she wants that. You know what's funny? That went dim Why earlier. Did you just but, do that? but it doesn't do it here, I don't no, think. No, it doesn't. But it did it earlier, and I was kind of like, ooh, ooh. I don't know. Who knows? Oh my God, love the headpieces, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. These little things, we just threw them on. <laughs> But we thought it would be really cute. Oh, the name game. So the name game. if you didn't go over to um, check it out ahead of time, that's okay. Um, I'm buttery hot dog, mm -hmm. and this is stale beer. Sour. Sour beer. <laughs> stale. That's even worse. It is What's worse. worse? Because it will send Tara down home. I will. Have it home. I will never be able to get out of it. Have you guys ever seen that meme? Like, I am not the friend that you're going to sit next to and be like, it's stop so laughing. True. Stop laughing. I'm not that friend. Wait, what did I just tell you recently? Oh, when, when, I, was, <laughs> when I was in that hotel room in New York. Yeah. And I had my computer set up. And I go to, at the, like, in the hotel room. And I go to sit down on the chair. Oh. <laughs> And I'm that friend. Like, if you fall in front of me, I'm going to laugh. I am. It only had two wheels on it. And I sat down, and people were in the meeting, and I sat down and looked If I were in that meeting, over. I would have just loved every minute of it. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay, Dolores' is cozy beer. That's much better, Dolores. Uh, cozy beer. Um, Dolores, I'm going to... Has the drinking began? No, no drinking. And, by the way, no. we're doing a mocktail today. So yes, we are. We are on our very best behavior. We are normally this silly and ridiculous. So very true. we do not need alcohol for and that. And yes, you are not that friend. Like, don't fall in front of you. No. Don't, like, um, mm -hmm. dribble food down in no. front of you. Don't, don't need a tissue don't. in front of you. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Stale beer. Do not need a tissue. Okay? <laughs> do not need a tissue. Um, all right. So let's talk about our first recipe. All let's right? Do it. All right. So we're doing it in a mocktail, but of course you can add rum to it. And of course, then you can make it a cocktail. Right? Yeah. Love. Super simple, super easy. Ginger, mango, and a lime spritzer. Okay? I, I have to say, like, I've been getting into some mocktails. Yes. And I really do enjoy them. Seriously. I will say. And I think the industry has totally made it a focus. And so, like, even if you don't make them on your own, I love that there's now cans. Oh, no. There's, like, a lot of great options. Do you guys see that thing on um, Instagram? It's the best name ever. Go ahead. Betty Buzz. Oh, Betty Buzz. I'm sorry to spit on you. Sorry, stale beer. <laughs> Jeez. I got to tell you something. Get the raincoat. Like, what? <laughs> You were so good about wearing a raincoat for a while, and now, I don't know, you just trust me, and, I, and you probably shouldn't. Matthew Angelo, should I trust her if you're even Is here? Is he on here yet? He was there this morning. I saw, I saw He was there, too, and he wanted to make sure I knew all about the penguin. Uh, I did. Uh, I'm sorry, the penguin? I did. Or the pelican? Oh, shoot, did I say penguin all the time? Wait, what is it? Thank you. Thank what you. is it? I'm I confused. I called a flamingo, a pelican. I'm so confused. And then confused. I went on to say a pelican flew into my pond in Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. So what was the animal again? What was the bird? 
It was supposed to be a flamingo. I called it a pelican. And then I called it a what? Penguin. <laughs> Love me. Okay. See, this is like karma. <sighs> this is what is it karma? when this happens. All right, so here's what we did. I have we, allergies. No worries. We cut a lime into slices for garnish. We put it on there. We, in a small pitcher, we added two limes, and we have the mango nectar. <clears throat> By the way, this pitcher is amazing, and we did, like, everything in... So of course, patriotic, which I love. I love patriotic. All right. Um, so now we're going to go ahead, and this is really cool. If you have time, yeah. take the fresh mango and freeze it. So these are like our little ice cubes. Ice cubes? Right? Oh, my God. That's so cute. Isn't that a great idea? Yeah, because I can't stand when my drinks get watered down. No matter I know. How they are. I'm sorry. I know. Even the soda. Like, ew. Even the soda. Ew. Ew. Do you want to open the ginger beers? Sure. I'm going to. Is this pour, a twist? Pour, it's a twist, yes. It's a twist. I already checked. I was like, oh, boy. But just in case it wasn't, I let you do it. <laughs> oh, that's going to bubble a lot, Lise. Okay. Please. Okay. Do you just want to make a mess now? That looks so... By the way, perfect pour, my friend. Golf clap. Mm -hmm. Golf clap. Mm -hmm. Golf clap. There we go. Okay. Do we have to go higher now? Oh, boy. Listen to that. Uh-huh. I'm all over it. Would Sounds you like the done. pink one or the green one? Doesn't get duh pink. I mean, <laughs> I just figured I'd ask. All right, give it a stir. Okay, everyone's checking in. I gotta say hi. <laughs> I'm not waiting for her. Dolores said, "Oh my God, I'm cracking up. You got to make a towel with hold on, penguins, pelican, pel." Oh my God. <laughs> uh huh. Bury the lead, Lee. Bury the lead. Pelicans and, and flamingos. flamingos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is scrumptious. Delicious. Oh. Seriously? What were you this just programmed to say delicious? And she was like, wait, I really mean it. Tara, I really like this recipe you came I up with. I always take my garnish off the side and put it in. Do you do that? Yeah, usually. Or I yeah. eat it. This is really good, you guys. It's fabulous. Oh. And of course, if you wanted to add rum, what did we say the rum was, Steph? Um, two, two ounces. So mm -hmm. two, one, two. Two, two. I feel like you could add anything to this. I agree like with you. I put, you could add vodka. I'm serious. Yeah. You could add rum. Yeah. You could add tequila. Gin. 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 Ooh, tequila. Tequila. My mm -hmm. new drink is a uh, French 75. Mm -hmm. That's my new obsession. Gin Should and champagne. Should we tell them the story? Which one? That we were sitting there one day and we were um, out to dinner. That's so good. And we were going to order a cocktail and you and I were talking and I said, it's so funny. Last week I just started drinking French 75s and Tara's like, that's I my, just started That's my drink. Drinking. That's my drink. So see, even when we're not together, we're twins and we're drinking the same thing. It's Lisa, so you're taking Pour It Proud to a whole new level. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have you hold my bevy. You got it. You have the green straw. I have the pink. Good to know. Yeah. No one would have ever guessed that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Uh, green goddess potato salad. You guys, this is such a fun twist on potato salad. Um, and I think, I keep hearing like. What is that Yeah, noise? what is that? I, maybe someone's here. Hello? Is anybody here? Wouldn't it be awesome if someone was like, hello? I know. Hi. <laughs> Can we help you? Right. Uh, There's this noise Actually, your, ride, your ride's here. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. It's my Uber. <laughs> Okay. All right. All kidding aside. Wait, I got gloves. I got gloves. All right. So potato salad. So yes. obviously we cut a few quarters just to kind of make this move a little quicker. Yes. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and cut your potatoes, your Yukon potatoes. I love potatoes. Yes. Um, skins left on and just quarter them. So they're going to look like this. We already boiled ours so that we could make it. You don't want them super mushy. So just bring the water to a boil and maybe put it in for about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, so definitely go ahead and check that out. We'll return to that in a second. But we're going to make the green goddess dressing. So I need to understand what's a green goddess because I have a little well, bit you're of love it. green goddess fear. Cause Why? I thought there was avocado in green Why goddess. Why do you think that? Isn't there normally avocado? And here's avocado? the deal. No, I don't, I don't believe so. No. All right, we need a poll. Is there normally avocado in green goddess I or always, am I just... I always thought it was like yogurt or mayo, not... Um, not what you call it. Not avocado. Uh, Marty, you are not too late. The party has just started. Is that parsley? Parsley it smells so. I'm good. growing parsley this year. I'm very excited. Yes, I'm gonna pulse this a few times before I add anything else. Nobody mm. panic! I'm gonna rip the green onions in half too. Green All right, so onions. spinach, parsley, I love green, onions. green onions. I'm gonna actually give this a little pulse. So listen, Heidi's here. Kim is here. Glenda's here. Lots of you are checking in. A hundred people are checking oh, in. Oh, thanks, gang. Yeah. And what are you guys up to? Oh, hold on for one second. We can go to the city and state. We can go to the city and state. Do you see, like, what's the, um, 
What's the character that like when the he Cheshire cat? Yes, that was me just now. Mm -hmm. okay. Wow, that is fragrant. <laughs> Woo! That was wow. Fragrant, that right? is fragrant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, what should we do next? Do we want to do? Let's zest our lemon. I like that. I love zesting, by the way. You know, I really didn't learn much about zesting until I f I signed up for a food delivery service called Purple Carrot for yes. Ed when he was really vegan. Because honestly, I had to educate myself because I, I really didn't know how to cook vegan. Mm -hmm. I know that may sound silly, but I, I truly had no idea. It's very complicated. Yeah. So what was nice is, you know, they send you everything and their big, big thing was they zest everything. And I guess it makes sense because they, they're missing a lot, a lot of flavors sometimes from yeah. like what we got going on there. So yeah, yeah, totally. there. Okay. So Tara, a couple questions. Zesting. People are both asking if our tops have come from QVC. Mine is, is yours? Yes. Oh, mine's Denim and Company, not uh -huh. the jacket. Um, who's mine? Uh, Lori Felt. Oh, Lori Felt. Yes. You love Lori Felt. I do love Lori Felt. I love Lori Felt everything, to tell you the truth. <laughs> and yours is Denim and Company. So, yes. I love Denim and Company. These are from QVC. If we can find the item numbers, we'll put them up there for you well, guys. Well, this was like old school. This was like two years ago, Yeah, I think. this was like maybe two years. I don't know. If but I just anymore. ordered something. I ordered um, so Kirsten's, uh, her park, remember, to her studio park. I got those t-shirts. Oh. You were right. They're long. How do you know that? You just know. I she just it. knows. Mm -hmm. She's like, I think, you know, they might be a little long on you, but yeah. they're cute. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but it is long. Here's the good news. They'll fit me. <laughs> See how that works? She's like, yeah, get them. Order Try them. them. Try yeah. them for sure. Yeah, totally. All right. Now, I just put in the mayonnaise. I put in, what else did I put in there? Uh, while we're talking, I can't yeah. even remember. Garlic. Um, the garlic, uh, white wine vinegar. Okay. Uh, the scallions are in there. The basil leaf. I don't remember the basil leaf. <laughs> Now we're gonna get it going. You're getting lots of hearts, you guys. I am. Can we give Tara lots of hearts over here? She needs. She needs hearts. Excuse um, me. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna slowly gonna something I never know how to do. Incorporate. <laughs> get in here. By the way, you still can see those ears. What are you kidding? <laughs> Minnie Mouse is jealous of that headband. Totally. Uh -huh. Oh, you're getting lots of hearts. I'm slowly incorporating the olive oil. Donna's here. Um, yeah. The gang is yeah. all here. Uh -huh. The gang's all here. Yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And right. whatever didn't get incorporated, we're just going to mix right in there. All right. I might have to make this this weekend. I'm you sure. should. By the way, I think could Bill, uh, you could do the vegan mayo, mm -hmm. and Billy could definitely eat and it. And he could eat yeah. it. Yes, he mm -hmm. could. Yes, he could. All right, let's take this mama down off. Hold on, I got to get every nook and cranny. I got people coming over on Saturday. I'm thinking this could be like a good thing. She has the entire Tesher clan descending on her house. Yeah. I don't even understand. I'm actually so excited. Ed's like, is she sure? I'm totally sure. Is then, she sure? Then I'm like, do the kids actually want to come or do they just want to stay at your house? Because you know, like kids. Well, I'm going to just offer everybody everything. And here's the fun part. Ed and I are coming no matter what. So. Uh, I love hey. that. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll let you know because she's going to order some pizza. So I don't want, I don't want that. Okay. So I have the potato salad. A couple of things. If you make it in advance, yes. make sure you keep the potatoes in the water so that they don't turn brown. After you've boiled them for that 10 to 12 minutes, take them immediately out of the water and run cold water on them. Put them over to the side and then make your dressing, okay? okay? You want the potatoes to be cold when you're ready to incorporate it. Okay, got it. Then. This smells so good. You're going to take the thinly sliced radishes that we did. Yum. We're going to put those in. I'm just going to dump the whole thing in there. This, I, I feel like I probably need a bigger bowl, but Steph has a lot of faith in me. Do you know how they're like, do a quarter of the flour? Yes. Do a quarter of the sugar. That's my girl. Oh, I can't, I like That's my now. girl. No. Yes. Yes, thank you, Steph. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Steph for the win. I was like, Wow. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put the dressing over it. Yum. So the Green Goddess dressing has all those great herbs and everything fresh from the garden. It's like you're literally on a path picking like herbs and spices and putting them inside here. That's what a Green Goddess dressing is to me. I'm gonna add it a little salt and pepper. Seriously delicious. It is. It's now so this pepper. is one of those that will for sure be in your teeth, okay? But if oh, you've boy. been wanting a, a, a kind of fun twist on a potato salad, 
this is the way you're going to want to do it. The radishes are amazing. You have a, um, a cup of chopped pistachios, so you're going to have that crunch. Thanks, Lise. Told you, imagine me trying to mix that in that little bowl. That wasn't that easy. That wasn't going to happen. Um, but now, I love the idea of, of course, you can make this in advance, too. I always feel like potato salad's better the second day. Um, so I would make it the night before and just and park it, it in the fridge. It doesn't yeah. get soggy or anything? No. Okay. I don't know. Mm -mm. As long as you keep it nice You're and cold. You're getting lots of hearts again. I am? You guys, I have to tell you, I'm not joking. This smells so delicious. Oh. And, like, it's like, I feel like it's an upscale it's, he it's healthy. Yes. It's a healthy upscale potato salad. I won't give you two too much because... Yum. There By we, the way, we both have teeth problems in terms of Do everything we? gets stuck in our teeth. Oh, well. Don't yeah. we? My two front teeth are fake right now, so let's not even go there, okay? They are, okay? You can call me mellow yellow. It's a whole thing, okay? They're temporary. They feel like chalk. I'm not sure what's happening, but I'm just going to roll with it till June 8th because that's what my dentist told me. Okay. Okay. Here's, here's to nothing. I don't bite into anything. I don't. You should see me. I'm like a maniac. It's like, are you just going to rip that apart? I'm like, I can't bite into it. <laughs> This is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about that garlic? I'm telling you. You absolutely have to make this. This is delicious, you guys. I'm going to come home and Joe's going to say, wow, what's for dinner? Oh, bring some home. He'd love this. Well, wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. Actually, Steph, I will. Ed would love this too, so maybe yes. we can divide it. Yeah, totally, because we're doing chicken burgers on the grill tonight. Oh, look at you. We're doing turkey meatballs. Are you? Mm -hmm. Really? Not on the grill. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So wait. Mama Mancini's. Mama Mancini's vlog. So good. So I have to tell you the funny story. I'll tell you the show. So yesterday, yeah. my husband and I went to the Italian festival in Philly, which mm -hmm. is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Which is so much fun. Yeah. And um, so we go down. We met my daughter and her husband, and we're in South Philly, and we go to Villa de Roma for dinner. Which Tara, we've all been to before. It's like this fabulous. But tell them why. It was one of the restaurants where my parents had their first date. That's so, so sweet. and my mom's going to be ninety-two. So, like, this is mm. many, many years ago. So, still go to Villa de Roma in Philly if you're from the I Philly area. I love that story. It's like red checker cloth table cloth. So it's table. old school, delicious. Old school. Like, it's old school. Like they just don't make restaurants like this anymore. They don't. Like Period. cash only. I had a laugh. Well, Joe, I love that. Joe went to go pull out his debit card, and they're like, "Oh, no. what?" That's no. like Peter Luger's. Have there. any of you ever been to Peter Luger's in Queens? All cash only or their credit card? Oh. I'm like. Boom. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like that. <laughs> sure. So mm -hmm. it was the Italian festival, so it's super crowded. Mm -hmm. So the Italian festival was Saturday and Sunday. Okay. And this is like five o'clock on Saturday night. We go to sit down, and the guy says, "Did you have a resi?" Nope, no resi. Uh, uh, We're at, but we got a table. We, we go to check in, and they're like, "We'll have a, uh, we'll have a table for you in seven minutes." And uh, I, I'm uh, dying. I'm like, "Seven? Uh, wow, you guys have it better not be signs. any longer than seven minutes." Okay, you're on the clock. So we're sitting there. And the, our waiter comes over and he goes, a couple of things. We're at a Peroni, so that's what Italians really love for beer. It's True an story. Italian beer. Yep. We're at a meatballs, and we're at a broccoli rum. And we have no red sauce. <laughs> Is that a problem? <laughs> no, I thought I just added. Only because no it was way. the Italian festival, right? right? But when we sat down, we were laughing. That's and we're funny. Like, Can you imagine how much, how many meatballs, how much right. all the stuff they had to go through? Right. To be to run out. out of it for dinner. Right. We were dying. We're that like, is the okay. best. I remember one time, like, have you guys ever been to a restaurant like that? So I went to school in West Virginia, a very small town in West Virginia. And there was one night where we went out, we went out to the restaurant and, you know, we're New Yorkers. I, I've told you this whole story. Like I was super impatient when I first got there. And then by the end of the, my four years, I was like, how you doing? Talking to everybody like, mm -hmm. Mabel, how's the weather? Um, but long story long, my mom and I go to this restaurant and she orders something and the, the server says, I'm, I'm sorry, we're out of that. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go. Mom, you pick something else. I'll go. If you know, my mother is not very patient. So distraction, I'll go. So now I pick something. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. We're out of that too. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, then I'll, I'll pick something. Mom, you go. So my mom, I kid you not, my mom orders the second thing. And no. the, the girl goes, I'm really sorry. We're out of that too. My mom just puts her napkin down and she goes, sweetheart, why don't you just tell us what you do have? Huh? <laughs> I was like, and oh. there is 
my mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. my mother. Okay, so while Lisa was telling us that awesome story. Yes. What were you doing? I was getting our cake mix ready. So we are going to make a watermelon cake. Get a white box mix. I don't care which, whatever you love. On Get sale. a box. Like 99 cents. It's on fabulous. sale. Don't you dare buy it at full don't price. Don't pay full price. Get that uh, watermelon <laughs> gelatin. Put it in there. Mm. Then I added eggs and some water and oil mm -hmm. to make the batter. Um, smell that, by the way. Doesn't it smell like that watermelon gelatin, right? I know. While you were talking, I was like, boom. Then you're going to divide it into two because you want two cakes. Okay. A little double decor action. I love the color, too. Isn't it great? It's this pink Wait till you see. Color. We're going we're gonna, to, um, it actually looks like a little bit of like a um, strawberry daiquiri. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Watermelon daiquiri. Okay. And then we're going to bake those. But certainly you don't have time to sit around here and wait for this to bake. So we baked it. Yeah, we did. And so I have my two halves. I'm going to okay. have that other mama jamba. Okay. So here's my one half. Okay. And what I'm going to do first. Everyone's laughing at Gail. Oh, yeah. Wait, Ching said your mother, Tara. Uh, tell me about she's it. She's the best. Yes, she is actually. But mm -hmm. she's she's something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's something special. She is something very special. I love, All right. I love these spreaders. Isn't this great? Yeah, I feel so fancy. Oh, fancy. Like, seriously. Like, like, yeah. It does make it kind of easy. Easy, right? doesn't it? It makes yeah. it so easy, and it's like you know exactly what you're doing. Yep. And bop, bop, bop. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to take the top, and I'm going to flip that onto it. We're going to do this double decker. So I put okay. it on a little parchment paper. Um, P.S. And by the way, I know we talk about how Temptations is nonstick and all of that good stuff, and it yeah. is, but we did butter and oil and everything because that gelatin is super sticky, okay? So when we used uh, the um, the Temptations Browns, am I in your way? I'm sorry. No, sorry. I keep, my foot keeps on like... You keep kicking me. No, it keeps on... You hear it? Here's a little secret that I sorry. thought was super cute. After you stack this, yes. we're going to go around the edges with the green. Okay. Okay. And we're all, you know, that way we're also going to probably get a little bit of the top and that's okay too because we'll, we'll correct oh, that. Oh, this is so cute. Right? Yes. A little watermelon cake. Mm-hmm. Do you like my hat? Because you're going to see a lot of it while I do this. Bear with me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to get this all iced and it's going to mix in with the pink. It's all good. Don't worry. It's all going to the same place as my father affectionately used to say. What are you getting so worried about? It's all going to the same it's place. It's so true. Okay. You know what I love about these? Like, you do these recipes, right? And when people walk in, it's almost like a piece of artwork. Yeah. Like, it's like the show piece for your whole event. Um, For next time, I'd like a rotating cake stand so that I can just like spin it. Uh, okay. You ever see that? Like they just hold it there and it's like, Bling! and totally. then it's iced. Uh, I need that in my life. Why do you keep moving away from me? I'll be right me? back. Uh-oh. Another right tissue? Back. Yeah, I do. Okay. My allergies are so bad. I apologize. My allergies are so bad today. Everyone's really mad at you. Uh, they can't believe you left. I know. Everybody's heartbroken. <laughs> Lisa, come back. Come back. Are your allergies bad or are they bad? They're so bad. But I take one of those Claritin dissolving tabs every yeah. morning. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, it makes a big difference. But I got out to Colorado and I thought my allergies would be better. Oh. They were worse. I had a sinus headache. I don't know what it is Like, today. I can't even tell you. Bad. All right, I think I did okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. This stuff, my cheerleader. You did, thanks, Steph. You did butamus. 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 All right, butamus. good. Yes, of course. Honey boo boo. Honey boo boo. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to do our other scoop of pink. Okay. You guys, wait till you see how cute this is. For Alicia. And by the way, if you, if you don't use a, a, a ice cream scoop for your icing, you're missing out. Mm -hmm. It's so much easier. And your meatballs. Yeah. And your meatballs. Seriously. And your ice cream, allegedly. Totally. Are All right. they the MC ones? Yeah. Yeah, I love them. They're the best. Yeah. The best. Mm -hmm. The best, Jerry, the best. Totally. All right, so don't worry too much about getting the pink and the green to connect because we're going to pipe a little white around it. So, you guys, this is so much fun. And perfect for summertime. And you know, it's a delicious white cake with a little watermelon gelatin. And I get to use a piping Wait, this bag. Is so cute. Right? Oh, I like this. We're getting medication advice. Oh, I love What? Oh, I Tell me. <laughs> oh. Kim said Zizol. Oh, Zizol. What's that? Zizol. Is that, that a commercial? Wait, that commercial. I've seen Get Zizol. Is it a com uh, prescription or over the counter? No, it's OTC. It is? It's new. Oh, Steph's using fancy terms OTC. over here. It's OTC. Mm -hmm. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Sorry. <laughs> Stop. Wait. <laughs> My 80s, 90s girl just popped out. Sorry. 
That's what it reminded uh, me of. Well, Verla thinks we look cute. Thank you, Thank Verla. Thank you, Verla. Let's change the narrative for a second. <laughs> What's wrong with my, my song? No, it was perfect. Yeah. Seriously. It was hey, so good. Don't mess with me. You know what we were saying today in our meetings? It was so true. Remember, Carolyn said it. I can't believe it's like the end of May. I know. Actually, I think you guys were on before I got there. Mm, some of us were late. Mm -hmm. No, some of us start the meeting five minutes early. And that's usually my time to go get a snack and, you know, some other things. Mm -hmm. Okay. And coffee. Um, and coffee. And then, what are going to be the seeds? Matthew Angelo checking in. Can you take my glove off? I sure can. You know, I used to be doctor, a nurse. Doctor. That was so well done, Lisa. So, wait, can I, do you know how when you work in the operating room? No, I don't know how. I've never so worked in the operating room. So, I used to work room. in the operating room. <laughs> and when, Steph, do you have an empty glove? Yeah. Are you going to fill it up and make a water balloon? No, nope. I'm going to show you what you do. So when the surgeon comes in and their hands are all washed. And they come you, in like this. You take a glove and yeah. you, you put a sterile glove like this. And you literally, if you're the circulating nurse, and you hold it like this. Where's the thumb? Okay. Uh-huh. And they, you put your hand in. No, I'm in all the wrong fingers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could never be a it's surgeon. It's why I never became a surgeon. You tried. I was smart enough and bright enough and talented enough. But you know what? I just couldn't oh, get geez, my hand. Is that going on? Oh, it's on the burner. It went on the burner. <laughs> it's fine. Could you imagine being like, oh. I uh, just wasn't able to get my hands in the gloves. Okay, so I think I did pretty okay for myself. That's I all. mean, we could do it. We could practice again. Maybe after. Yeah. So look, this is like, so come funny, on, guys. you guys, Seriously? look at this watermelon cake. Like, delish. Mm -hmm. What should I cut, Steph? That one or this one? You, you don't care. Okay, good. Uh, let's cut into this one. Wow. See, I love. See, these now plates. normally you'd like go and clean it up, but you know. Whatevs. These are the cutest plates. Aren't they ridiculous? By the way, all these items are available over on temptations.com. Ridiculous. Oh, Kim said so cute. Look at this. And I want to show you, because we did the double layer, you have the pink icing in the middle. It's so You cute, have the you watermelon guys. gelatin. And then you have the, it's, it's vanilla icing. We just did some food dye and made it pink. You know what I just realized? I didn't even give you a chocolate chip. Rude. What? Oh, yes, you did. You got one. I got none. Rude. 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 Um, oh, by the way, Amy made that crunch cake for me, that orange crunch she cake. She did? We are doing it on a live. I'm obsessed with it. She actually at one point was like, I really think you need to like stop eating the cake. I would, <laughs> every time I walked into the house, because she did like tacos and tequilas. I went to my, um, my goddaughter's high school graduation. I was uh -huh. out in Colorado. And Amy, Friday night, my bestie, had the whole family, everybody who flew in from out of town, we're considered family, um, over and she made, did tacos and tequila. It was cute. She made so like margaritas cute. and whatever. But she also made an orange crunch cake. And every time I would walk into the kitchen, you know me, I'd literally take the knife and just be like, uh-huh. Only Tara would actually take a bite from that knife. Yeah. And I did. just cringed and he doesn't know why. Yeah, well. Thank you very much. I'm fun, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what I tell everybody. I totally agree. <laughs> oh, guess what? Guess what? What? Robert just said they're so excited for the towels on Wednesday. Oh, my gosh. I asked Lisa because she did a little sneak peek on the use and care, which another thing you should follow us on when Lisa's doing her use and care. Now she's giving sneak peeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm hmm You never know what's going to happen. That's what I have in my house. So mm -hmm. back to my fake teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little worried about this green icing, and Lisa will tell you why. Am I wrong? So I come back from getting my temporary Are you going to tell them the real, like, the modified story? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, maybe. I think I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. So I go and I get my uh, temporaries put in. Hurts. Like, uh, they take the veneers off, and then it's a whole thing. Two hours, by the way. So I said to the girl, I'm like, is there anything, like, I can't, like, the tech who's helping me, signing me out, whatever. Is there anything, like, I can't eat? Because, like, they literally feel porous and, like, chalk. She's like, no, you can eat anything. Great. So Ed and I decide we're going to get a tofu scramble, which if you know anything about a tofu scramble, it's heavy in turmeric. Like, okay, you guys, I am by myself. Ed goes and runs some errands, and I am eating this, and I am like, this is so good. This is so good. Finally, I'm done eating, and I go, and I happen, I'm like, I just want to look at my teeth again, right? I, I'm obsessed with looking at them. They are... The most neon yellow I have ever seen in my life. Le Poor Lisa is like, Ed may never come home again. I called him. I'm like, my teeth are yellow. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm brushing. I'm brushing. They are yellow. Like, bright yellow. Not even like uh, like a hint. They are bright yellow. Anyway, 
I called them. I'm like, I'm so, I don't know what to do. My teeth are yellow. I, I, you know, I'm on air tomorrow. Like, is there anything you could do? Can you help me? She's like, send me a picture. Then she's like, I can't really tell from the picture. I'm like, you, okay. You so, can't tell from this picture. I got the picture. I, and were they not bright yellow? So, I made the sad, sorry mistake of checking in with Tara. I'm like, was Lee out of shopping, running mm -hmm. errands. I'm like, I'm just going to call her. She was going uh -huh. on. I'm like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> like, oh, and the, and the ADT. And our whole issue with ADT. It was, an, it, was, it was not a good Friday. It was just not a good day. You know those days? It was a day. Her teeth, uh -huh. I'm not going to lie to you, they were so yellow. And then I'm like, you know, as a friend, you're like, I mean, no, they're not that bad. No. And I go, Lisa, are you kidding me right now? So I call, So she's like, come in at like 3 o'clock. Like, mm -hmm. we'll sand them down. I'm like, this is awful. Went and got some baking soda. Did it myself. Mm -hmm. As soon as I hung up with Tara, I called Ed and I go, Don't go home. Don't go home right now. <laughs> She's melting down. Don't go home. She's in a full meltdown. And then, and then Ed and I went into a 10 minute conversation on everything yellow. Like, they call you. Know, and I happened to be wearing a yellow t shirt. So Lisa's like, oh, I love that she put, picked that t shirt. Now the two of them are texting without me and making fun of me. <laughs> these, are my, these are my peeps. These are my people. I so, was dying over there. I coordinated with Ed about what time I thought it'd be safe. <laughs> To, to walk right. back into the house. They were getting whiter and whiter by the minute. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. He got a hotel room. Yeah. Then... <laughs> I haven't seen him all week. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing with ADT, I th I'm sure you guys have like a similar <laughs> situations, right? Everyone's kind of understaffed. And, and so if they don't have to send a tech out, they don't send the tech out. They want <laughs> you to try to like troubleshoot it. I am not qualified for this. I got batteries coming to my house. I need a special screwdriver to unscrew the thing. Uh, he tells me to pull it off the wall. I pull it off the wall. By the way, there's a cavernous hole behind this whole thing. And it falls and smashes into 5,000 pieces. And I finally was just like, hey, Andrew, you really have a lot of faith in me. I have done batteries. I've done units. I've unscrewed things. I've, I've taken plugs out. I am not qualified for this. And now I broke the screen. Oh, we'll send someone right out, ma'am. I was like, <laughs> there's my mom. See, you should just start from the beginning. I'm not doing this. Nope, I can't do it. Do you feel better? I'm sweating, oh actually. God. Is that hot in here? I'm fired up. And I still don't have a fixed screen. But he told me it wasn't sharp enough to cut me. So, oh, good. Fantastic. But how are your teeth? <laughs> but my teeth, I don't think are green. I think we're good. All right, you guys. Well, that was Thanks fun. for the therapy session. I feel so much better. Thank you guys for being my sounding board. Please, please give Tara lots of hearts. She needs lots of hearts. And um, if anybody has a good ADT or a good dentist two story where yeah. teeth turn colors, right. look at all the hearts you're getting. You got to tell it. You got to post your pictures. We'll try to find the item numbers for these two. It's real life, you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, happen. I'm just hanging on by a thread, okay? No, so, just kidding. <laughs> All right. So this was super fun. Welcome to another edition, our Memorial Day edition of This Crazy Kitchen. We love doing this with you guys. Some fun recipes. You can find them over at our on our Facebook yeah, page, our right? If you haven't them. joined our recipe group yet, come over and join our Facebook yes. recipe group. It's super fun. Sign up for our emails. You'll get sneak peeks. Follow Lisa when she's doing the use and care. And we always post our schedule over at temptations.com so you can kind of see where we are. Excuse me. I got choked up. And what we're doing. All right, you guys, thank you for another awesome edition, Memorial Day, of this crazy kitchen. Bye. Bye-bye.